Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Infamous. In the last episode, we made our first decision, and with the help of you guys, I've, we have uh, chosen that I'm going to be evil this uh, Let's Play. So, yeah, evil's a thing. And so, uh, at the end of the last episode, we fought off the Reapers and everything, and then we were told to go meet Zeke at the bridge. So, we're going to go ahead and get on our way to doing that. So, um... Quick look to see if they'll react to you or not. No. All right. Um, I was just checking to see if uh, NPCs would react to you yet. Oh, but I did see something already. Um, as you can see, Cole here, he's already looking a little more pale. And that was a bullet. Oh, that's a bullet. All right, let's go ahead and take care of these guys. And on your evil path, you have red lightning. Uh, you already said that, but I love it. There's one guy. Where's go back? Where? Ah, it's been so long since I played this. Up oh, there. I was looking. There. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder what that feels like being electrocuted to death. Um, anyways, uh, like I was saying, Cole's already looking a little pale, and that's an example of his, uh, uh, what was it? Oh, the, uh, physical differences, um, that you can see from the different paths you can take. Oh god. Oh yeah, uh, you can actually switch shoulders with the uh... Oh god! Well... I just died. <laughs> awesome. Uh, you can switch shoulders that you're aiming with with the right by clicking in the right stick pretty useful. Um, I cannot believe I just died. Awesome. Ah, uh, this is... It's weird playing Infamous after so long because I have memories of... Like, all of my memories are with, like, almost... Like, I have almost no powers right now. Like, you get a whole bunch of different kinds of powers as you go through the game. And right now I only have, like... The thunder drop, the uh, whatever that's called, I forgot, and your uh, regular lightning bolt. Really, not much. That's one thing I wanted to point it out. Um, in this game, your regular um, your regular bolt attack, this thing, uh, it doesn't take up any energy to use it. Um, so you can basically do what I was just doing and make it like a machine gun. Oh god. And, um, there's no penalty, but in Infamous 2, uh, Sucker Punch realized this, and so after, I think it was like three or so bolts, your bolt is powered up, but, um, it also takes away uh, energy, but not so in this game, so it's okay. Mm. Oh, God, oh. Didn't want to do that. Uh, that was an example of what I was telling meds the other day, how uh, if you're in a, uh, a body of water that's too large, then you'll actually start getting hurt from it. So anyways, here's our mission. Stampton Bridge, the fastest way out of town. That is, if you can get us past those baton-wielding goons. We're getting out of here, one way or another. Follow my lead. I don't know if you saw it on the close-up there, but the veins in uh, Cold's neck are actually turning like a dark, like almost black color. You have 
have entered a restricted area. Lethal force may be used in... Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. If I fry a couple of the guards from inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot, help keep the heat off Zeke and me. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people will get the hell kicked out of them. So we go into the crowd and... Riot! Anyways, um, so I don't know if you saw it on there. Uh, I got one earlier with the high fall, but uh, like right there, the melee finisher. Um, no, oh, up close and personal. So those are uh, little stunts that you can see down at the bottom. Uh, they are. I already explained them, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. So. And just like on Zeke's roof, we have an, a little generator right here, so we charge it, then... Ooh. Those barricades make good cover! Go. Alright, so Circle will actually let Keep you get in burn. cover, we got him on the run. which is very, very useful when you're... It's actually like these with those machine guns! Machine guns. Flank them if you have to! So, like it says right there, if you're hanging on an object, you can still actually shoot. It's very, very useful. But we couldn't actually see the guy right there, so it wasn't so useful. Yeah. So, uh, there are various acts you can do, and uh, that'll give you some experience, like disabling a turret right there. One thing that you probably saw right there, the lightning that I let out when I was uh, disabling the turret was actually blue instead of red. So, might just be oversight, probably was, um, let's see, but, yeah, that's the thing, it's there. Woo! Okay, I know, let's just go ahead and take out these turrets for some more experience. And here we go. We have another gate. Let's go ahead and get this guy up. And charge! See, now the hanging and shooting is actually Oh. I died. guys down there. Oh god, no, I'm not. Oh god. Absorb. Absorb. Nope, gonna die, gonna die. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh! Oh, I, I survived. Whew! Uh, oh god! <laughs> oh wow, that's a. Uh... That was a thing. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to point out also. Uh, if you go up to pretty much any metallic surface and you shoot it with your electricity, you can actually uh, regain electricity by absorbing the electricity you put there yourself. Um, that's probably another reason why uh, the endless electricity was taken out of Infamous 2. But yeah, that's a very useful... Uh, not really skill, but, you know, trick you can use if you're getting low on health. Oh. Got it, with a headshot. Oh, that's a thunder uh, Thunderdrop. Punch, punch, kick, punch, headbutt, dead. Turret, disabled. Also this one. Oh. Alright. 
we have one last gate to go through, so let's... Hey, man! Head for the quarantine station! It's our ticket out of here! And we are totally fucked. The gate opened to a wall of razor wire machine guns. Zeke made a break for it, smashed in the gate to the decontamination unit, and fell headlong into the harbor. And I moved faster than I knew I could. I was greeted by name. This FBI agent, Moya, had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband, John, had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons, a shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted, ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. Suddenly, I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some slack. All right. Now, here is the first, uh... Because of the riot topside? Oh, well, no, not the first, but the one of the main, the uh, of not main, either. The God, God I mean, what am I trying to say? Um, because our first real platforming section was when we were trying super. to get the food crate. But right here, what we're going to have to do, we have to uh, knock over these posts and climb across the pipes. So we have to break the rust off just like we did for the food crate and uh, just hop across. It's really not... No, oh, well, almost over jumped that. And then we have enemies. Fun. And those right there are explosive barrels. And explosive barrels are fun. Um, so yeah, we got another stunt right there, the Enviro takedown, which is to use something in the environment, such as the explosive barrels or a car or something. Alright, right here, we have blast shards. Highly charged pieces of earth that were scattered when the race here detonated. Collect them to earn battery cords, which are those literal... Or, not literal. Uh, those little... Um, glowy things that let me um, use my special powers such as the shockwave oh I know the main running under the bridge what's going on down there Reapers were busting up some pipes interesting All right. I'll see what I can so, find out you uh, back to the, the more uh, blast shards you get the more battery cores you'll have uh, they also give you experience, so that's a good thing. Um, much like a lot of sandbox games, um, this game has its fair amount of side missions. So um, I'm thinking every, I don't know, five or so. No, not even. Every few episodes, I will, um, I'll do a... A, a, an episode dedicated to side missions and uh, blast shard hunting. Oh, right here, the pipes are breaking. The pipes are breaking. Oh, oh. Yeah, we made it. Hey, Zeke. Cole? Oh, man, it's good to see you. There we go. 500 experience, a little more evil, and we got three stunts performed. Yeah, nice work on that gate, Wrecking Ball. Well, live through the fall, no problem. But, uh, getting back to shore? Well, let's just say I'm no Michael Phelps. Yeah, that's an understatement. Hey, hey, take it easy, lightning rod. So, uh, how the hell'd you live through that, man? Bullets flying everywhere, all over the place. Figured you were a goner. Let's head home. I'll fill you in on the way. Oh yeah, so uh, our loading screens, they usually give us some nice little quote. And it drains neuroelectric energy. Oh, I knew it! All the stuff I've been saying, every word is true. Government's in cahoots with a secret organization, the Ray Sphere. 
Damn, what? it all makes sense now. Calm Keep down, going. you're gonna hurt yourself. That race fear must dish out powers to anyone controlling it. You gotta bring it back here. Sure, I could use a sidekick. Ah, hell with that. Zeke Jedediah Dunbar is his own man. Your middle name is Jedediah? Yes, it is. After my grandfather. Strong man for a man his size. Uh, I don't know where Zeke comes from, but uh, I'm certain... You need to take a nap and a bath. I got things to do. Well, things to do, people to see. What do I have to do, though? I've Here already got a couple of leads for you. The coordinates have been uploaded into your phone. Give me a call when you're in position. Boom! Important. All right, I already filled you in about experience, but so let's go to the power menu now. And now that we have a little more experience, um, and we have decided on a path, um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that power up. The uh, sometimes exploding, and um, I'm gonna skip out on shockwave for now. That's, oh, this is one thing I really love about Thunder Drop and Evil. It's really hard to use Thunder Drop while you're good because the Thunder Drop can and usually does hurt civilians. As Evil, you don't have to worry about that. So, that's a thing. So, I got Thunder Drop. Ah, I should have got reduced damage. Oh, well, I'll get that next time. So, now our Thunder Drop. Its radius has increased a decent amount. Couldn't really see it there, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, as you can see, we have three missions that we can go do right now. Uh, these three missions. Oh, here's our map, by the way. Um, but we'll be doing those in the next episode, so I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.